What's up, y'all? This your girl, G with the T. This your first time here on my channel. Please be sure to that subscribe button. Let's help the channel grow. Okay? Tonight, we're going to talk about dating a married man. Because a lot of y'all feel like it's a flex dating a married man. And it's not, sis. I'm sorry to tell you it's not a flex. A lot of y'all feel like it's a flex being a sad chick for whatever reason. They don't normalize being a sad chick. I ain't never been comfortable being with no man sad chick. I don't know why y'all think it's cool being a sad chick. See, a lot of y'all start off saying, oh, well, I'm okay with being a sad chick. It don't come with nothing. He cashing me out. It's all cool so you catch feelings for that man. And he don't want to settle down with you. And he not about to leave his wife for you. See, after a while, unless you just straight out here with no good morals and values, them gifts, them bags, all that shit go out the window when your heart get involved. Because when two people is intimate and y'all both laying down, somebody going to always catch feelings. And guess who get the short end of the stick? You. Because you're the side chick. That man going back home to his wife. He not about to leave her. They most of the time got vestments together. They got children together. They playing with you. They playing with you in your face. Tell you they going to leave their wife. I bet girl been about five years for them long-term sad chicks. Don't feel embarrassed. I know. I get it. That man spinning you, spinning you, spinning you till he gonna leave his wife. We done heard that shit before. That man ain't leaving his wife for you. You wasting your time dating that married man. A lot of y'all get yourself in them situations because that man cashing you out or giving you a couple of dollars. You basically selling your soul dating a married man. And a lot of them be telling you, um... She don't make me happy. I need to let go. I don't want to be with her no more. Tell that man to prove it. It don't take five years to get divorced. If that man really want to leave his wife, he will. And see, he think he building your self-esteem because you feel like, oh, he choosing me. He choosing me. He ain't choosing you. He's using you, dumbass. <laughs> Excuse my French, but that was the sister mama right there. But real talk. He ain't choosing you over his wife. He's using you. You a convenience for him. You somebody he can run to and lay up with anytime he wants to. Anytime he want to check out from his reality at home. Anytime he don't want to deal with his wife and his children. His responsibility. Because she hold him accountable. You easy. You some free. You know what. You, or pay. You know what. If he paying you. A piece of ass somebody can lay up with. He don't really care nothing about you. That's how he looking at you. A piece of meat somebody can check out with. Then when he go back home, he don't live in his reality. And when the holiday time come, girl, he ain't coming to see you. When them Christmas come around and Thanksgiving, he going to be right at the crib with his wife and his children. Easter, 4th of July, girl. And you're going to be at home every night by yourself knowing he just laid up with you. Gave you a couple dollars, paid your ass cheap for a person, a couple dollars for rent while he going home and lay up with her. Is that even worth it? Is your self-esteem that low? Is you that desperate to be with somebody? You'll be better off finding you a single man who don't got no wife and no children, who really want you for you, who not going to play games with you. Don't never be nobody's second choice. You deserve to be in first place. Free game, y'all. This your girl, Drew, with the T, man. I hope this was helpful, man. Dating a married man is never flex, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm out of here.